Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima, and this week I want to discuss something that I've constantly fought against my entire life. Something that I've always tried to downplay for almost all of my life to other people, and I've even gone as far as trying to keep it out of view from people whenever they come over to my house. I even used to wait until I was in a relationship for an extended period of time before I let the other person know about it because I was so deeply ashamed. Okay, I'll just come out and say it. I am a fanboy. That feels so good to get off my chest. No, seriously, this is something that I fought against my entire life, and let's be honest, it's been a losing battle. I've even tried certain things like this. Hey, have you ever heard of the show Power Rangers? Yes, I've heard of Power Rangers, you fucking idiot. I live and breathe the lore of Zordon from Eltar, and I would give anything to be a principal actor on the series someday. I still roleplay with my Power Ranger toys when no one's around, so like, yes, I've heard of Power Rangers. Yeah, I think so. So it's been a struggle. I've always thought that I need to be a lot more calm about things, that maybe I need to be passionate about different things. Like I shouldn't care about television shows or authors or creative things as much. Instead, I should be super excited about things that I had zero interest in, like business and politics. But you know how that goes? Have you seen the new law in Canada? It's so insane. Oh my God, yeah, like totally insane. Like why would they do something like that? What? They legalized gay marriage. I meant more like, why did it take so long for them to do that, right? Like that's the insane part. For the record, I know that same-sex marriage has been legal in Canada since 2005. Also for the record, I'm lying because I had to look that up for the sake of this video. See, I'm just not a worldly fanboy. I know that Canada had legalized it long before the US, but god if I knew when. But let's be real, if Canada was filming my favorite TV show there, I'd know what city, where, who was on the project consistently, what locations were being filmed at, and how much money they were getting from the country for filming there to begin with. Sometimes this isn't all a bad thing at all. In fact, I would say that fanboy nature really helped me grasp onto certain things in life, like my love for writing and the English language. Seriously, I can still recite some rules for writing and speaking English that I learned in third grade, because they meant that much to me. But what's the capital of Maine? Who knows? By the way, just looked it up, it's a city called Augusta, when I legitimately thought it was Portland, Maine. See, I don't even care about my own country enough to retain that information. So as you can tell by my channel recently, I've kind of come out of my fanboy shell. I mean, if I was hiding my love for Power Rangers before, I sure shit and not anymore with Ranger reviews every Tuesday and Thursday on my channel. In fact, I tried to be the opposite of how I used to be. Have you ever read a series of unfortunate events? Yeah. And did you know that Lemony Snicket is a pen name for Daniel Handler, who's the author of the books, who's also donated a lot of money to charity since the success of the novels? Plus, I don't think that he really views the first film with Jim Carrey very favorably, because he was kind of begrudgingly taken off the project by people in charge, but I think that's why the new Netflix series is a lot truer to the tone of the books. Oh. Yep. Okay, so obviously if I try to say everything that's in my head, it comes off as like crazy. So there's really just a nice balance between the two. Make sure that you're not ashamed to like the things that you like, but damn it, don't be a know-it-all about it either. That's something that I'm still struggling with, but I think that striving for that balance in your life, no matter what kind of tightrope that you're vaulting across, is the most important part. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to care enough to try. What about you guys? What secrets do you keep from other people? Could you express them more freely? Or are you too ashamed of them for whatever reason? What could you do to change them? I say being ashamed of something you like is like being ashamed of the color of your own skin. It's dumb. And it doesn't have to be your defining feature as a human being. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week for another brand new video. Later. Mm-hmm.